Hi and welcome to Animal Biology Practical Course 2. In this section, we will pay a virtual visit to the freshwater wetland ecosystem in Surrey Ecological Park, Peninsula. Our aims for today are to get familiarized with the freshwater ecosystems in Surrey, to see some plants and animals present in the freshwater ecosystem in Surrey, and discuss some adaptations of these organisms. Let's look at the Google view or the space view of Surrey Ecological Park. To begin, I show the location of Ghent University. Our school, Ghent University, is right here on the screen. And the seawater gains access interland from here in this direction up north. And Surrey Ecological Park is here. Let's zoom in to see the futures of Surrey from space. The seawater comes in and divides into three estuaries on the extreme right and two upper north on the left and on the right. And these two estuaries give way and give rise to what is referred to as Surrey Ecological Park. Within the Surrey Ecological Park, as you can see, the major estuaries give rise to the mud flat on the right and on the left. And on the side, on the two sides of the mud flat, you have the salt marsh ecosystem, which is in between the mud flat and the freshwater ecosystem. So right within the mud, two mud flats that we have and the two salt marsh ecosystems, we have the freshwater, the brackish water wetlands. And as you can see, the seawater goes in into the wetlands and mixes with the fresh water to create this beautiful ecosystem. Right here is the entrance of Surrey Ecological Park and as you can see at the entrance there is a bridge constructed that goes over the mud flat right into the Surrey Ecological Park. In the next slide we will see the pictures of the visual visit to Surrey Ecological Park interland or rather the freshwater or brackish water ecosystem. This is the entrance into Surrey Park. Freshwater ecosystem in Surrey is right at the center of the Surrey Park. After branching off from the mud flat over the bridge and into the salt marsh ecosystems, we are now at the entrance of the freshwater ecosystem in Surrey. Now let's go in to the freshwater ecosystem. This is the bird watching deck constructed over the freshwater at the freshwater ecosystem in Surrey. From this bird watching deck, you can have a comfortable view of the animals at the freshwater ecosystem. These are the great cormorant birds. They are predatory birds. They are also called the great black cormorant. They feed on fish by diving into water to catch fish. And this is the reason why they are mostly seen drying their wings because their wings are always wet after feeding. The eastern great egrets are predatory birds. They feed on fish, frogs, small reptiles, small birds, rodents, insects, crustaceans and snails. They hunt by standing shallow in water and they pierce through their prey with their beaks. 
The Little Event. The Grey Heron. The Grey Herons are also predatory birds. They feed on fish, amphibians, small mammals, and insects. They stab their prey with their bills. They stand also by the shallow waters waiting for prey. The Eastern Spot Bill Dog. The Eastern Spot Bill Dog they feed on plants and insects. They are not predatory birds. They glean on water bodies and around water areas looking for food. The following are some other birds that can be found at the freshwater ecosystem. Black tailed gull. The Oriental Reed Warbler. Another codata that can be found at the freshwater ecosystem includes the common carp. The common carp, or popularly known as European carp, Cyprinus capio, are found in Sore because they prefer fresh or slightly brackish water bodies. Brackish water bodies, as we know, are water bodies that are low in salinity and they are found at the junction of seawater and fresh water. Hence, common carp survives there. Brackish water are what we find in the freshwater ecosystem of Sole. Because of the humidity and general climate of the freshwater ecosystem, it's a home to numerous insects and because of these, there are many spiders also living there to feed on the insects. Let's look at the list of them. The Chinese peacock butterfly. The Asian comma butterfly, the pale grass blue butterfly, the grey veined white butterfly, the brown praying mantis, the cone headed grasshopper, the dragonfly, the grasshopper, the Joro spider. Triconephila clavata. Let's look at the plants that are found in the freshwater ecosystem. The cord grass, genus Spatina, also called marsh grass or salt grass. They are commonly found around the estuaries. The common weed. Phragmites australis, commonly found in wetlands. So, this is the end of our virtual visit to the freshwater wetland ecosystem in Surrey.